Hey everybody, it's Gibby Tom. Let's play my level. I'm not supposed to um, reveal level authors. So this is my level. It's pretty bad. I'm really, still really proud of that level filter. And then we go over here and it says number four and then it's a Japanese character which is actually the number four because four in Japanese sounds like death. That's your big hint. You have to um, <clears throat> you have to kill yourself in this level. But before you kill yourself, make sure you get the midpoint. That's very important. Oh, look at all these red herrings floating about. Man, all these red herrings. This totally is ominous. Well, let's uh, let's go down. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. There's a reset door and over there's a feather. You can get the feather if you want. It's pretty useless to be honest. It's just there to waste your time to get P switches. Alright, that's good enough. Hey, look at that red herring over there. Whoops. You just hold upwards and then you'll eventually work your way up. And now I can infinite climb. We can use this to go up here and get a P switch. And this is by far the easiest way of getting the midpoint. Not the only way, in fact the sort of real intended way is to go down there to get to midpoint, which I might show off. Well let's go here and let's try to jump. I failed. Now you got the midpoint, hooray! Now you gotta kill yourself. The original plan for this level was actually to have like a whole bunch of puzzle rooms with pipes in them and you're trying to work out, like you're trying to find the right pipe to come back up here. But in the end it's just about dying. Let's climb. Um, now what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Next thing I want to do... Speed this Yoshi. Where did this Yoshi come from? Well, there was actually a, a little block here with the Yoshi on top and by bringing this all the way up, you destroy the block and the Yoshi fell down. Now the thing is, if you stay on the mushroom block, this will keep going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. And when it goes completely off screen, the game crashes. I will demo that later. Uh, right, let's go down. Let's not collect any of the coins. I shouldn't have collected that coin. Uh, right, so here... Uh, there's a puzzle thing, so I think I can safely leave you here. And let's just scroll the screen. Uh, I don't know if there's any particularly good spot to do this in. I think most spots work. Well, that one didn't. <laughs> Oops. Um, can I quickly respawn the thing? No. I have to reset. That's a waste of time. Man. Well, instead of resetting, let's make our way down and show off other stuff. In principle, I could beat the level right now, but let's uh, let's keep on going down. There's a nicely placed uh, P-switch. So I want to get all the dragon coins, and there are many ways of doing it. The proper way is to actually physically go through this maze. Um, but I'm just going to have the climb animation on. <laughs> you, like, you're supposed to, like... Yeah, you're supposed to go through the maze like a whole bunch of times, get all the coins, but um, like this, this, this works really well. If you have to glitch on, this like breaks the level pretty much. And there's another that one. There's another one down below. Is there? It's way down below. It is. And then we can fall down. See, you can't go back up. You can't go back up here. Well, let's. We only totally really need the, the vine to climb at the moment. Don't mind the glitchy background. I didn't want the background to be glitched, but I could just never actually fix it. So that's what happened. Um, because vertical levels are tough to do. Really? How do I keep messing this up? I usually get it on my first try. Uh, well, let's reset again. I just want... So this you're supposed to get the second mushroom. Uh, you don't need to have the midpoint mushroom, by the way. That should do it. There we go. And there we go. Second mushroom. Now let's make our way back upwards. What I'm actually going to do is just go through the reset door. Get the P-switch and let's go back up legitimately. So if we bring this up here. Just don't let it fall through the, the slope. This is a real awkward climb, but you can do it. Oh no, I, because I collected that coin. Yes, it's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. I'm sorry for this level. I really am. Truly. Absolutely sorry. Uh, right. So let's go through the maze properly, which is not this way. To get through the maze... Uh, right, well... You see, you go through the maze, and the maze you have to, you have to go in this direction, because you have to obviously go in the most awkward direction. The door is blocked, and you can't get in there. The only way you can get in there is if you're carrying an item. So if you go this way, this brings you back up a bit up top more. 
And then you grab this piece switch here. And you bring this with you. This is the this is the secret here. And now what I can do is activate this. It makes my piece switch invisible for a second. And very quickly make my way to the door. Well, this will do. If you have to feather, this is also a lot easier. Let me through. No. You get the gist of it, though. Whoops. Uh, because I need, I want to get back up to the top of the level. Oh, delete my piece switch. I want to get back up to the top of the level, and you can get back up to the top of the level from a pipe at the very end, which is what I'm aiming for right now. Come on, I just have to go through this maze slightly more efficiently. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. That's how you get through the maze properly. That brings you down here. There used to be a side exit here. I thought it was too cruel and removed it. Then we come down here and go, Wee, where's the end goal? And then I give my hint. Did you find the hidden Yoshi? Yes, I did. Did you meet the rare red herring? No. Uh, did, or get the midpoint. I sure did. And you do need to glitch. That's a side exit there, by the way. Don't. I don't recommend it. Delete your midpoint. So, um, now that we're back here and we have a mushroom, we can get ourselves a Yoshi. So I have to go back down here, reactivate the glitch. Makes things a lot easier. Dun, 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 dun. There's a reason why those doors, by the way, are many tiles high. It's so you can bring a Yoshi, even when you're big. Get down here, get down here, get down here, down here. Oh, thank you. I'm going to make my way up here and grab the Yoshi. And I want to do another thing as well. So grab the Yoshi. I want to actually just delete there. You have that. Now you stay there. I'll be right back. I need this piece switch here. This may take a few attempts. I'm really bad at this. I'm really, really bad at this. There we go. Some of the fish. That was perfect. There is the one rare red herring. And now I can kill myself. This is the intended solution. You <laughs> glitch make... See, all the other all the other pools are filled with herrings except that one pool. Like, if you explore the level more, you'll eventually see that. Um, in principle. Now we go back into level. And we win! It's just perfect. Isn't this the best puzzle level ever? No, of course it isn't. It's terrible. It's supposed to be a joke. It wasn't even meant to be real. I made a joke in the in the thread. Where does that bring us? Sure, why not? Uh, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place an L save stay here in slot number 7 for luck. Let's break the game. So if we go in here... Yeah, 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 that will filter. Okay. Do, 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 do. Right, so we're going to go down here and let's just um, have a jolly old time on this thing and just go down, 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 down. Keep on going down. You see, it used to be possible to beat this level by actually going all the way down I'm picking up the red shell from the maze which is underneath all this but it turns out if this goes slightly too far it's like oh yes i'm gonna get the what is this music this is actually pretty neat I'm really glad it loaded up this music. It's pretty great. But um, this is what happens when you crash the game. You go into this disco purgatory. Does anyone recognize this? Is it just another music track, or is it another, or is it like a? I don't know. This is pretty great. But I have to, I have to reload. And um, the other thing I want to show off is there are multiple ways of dying in this level. So I'll probably fast forward through this. Um, but let's just rush down here. That's not what I meant to do. Well, I can... For those of you who are too lazy to watch the dev commentary video, I'll show you other ways to die. This this one is in the dev commentary. Right, so you just go here and you just... There you go! Easy way to die! Um, whoa, level scrolls down a lot. Um, 
That's a really easy way to die, like, for, in fairness. But there are even better ways of beating the level. Hooray! See, this isn't so easy when you know what to do. Okay, next method requires a Yoshi, so let's do that. Um, for the record, this just this just has a coin. That this is all it is. And you can go in that pipe, by the way. I can't remember where it goes. Yeah, right here, because of course. And that's another way of getting two pieces which is here. All right, I'll be right back, Yoshi. I have to grab something. Now, all the way down here. What we want to do is grab the springboard. Slowly climb back up. So another way of beating this level is through a sort of weird Yoshi glitch where you try to swallow this at the same time you step on it. And it's really damn hard to do. I'm probably not going to be able to do it, but I'm going to try, damn it. Man, I can't seem to do this. Alright, well, I'll try to explain. There's a glitch where you sort of c compress this a tiny bit and swallow it pretty much at the same time, and you get, like, this massive boost upwards, but I don't know, actually, I don't really know how to do it, but it was done before by, it was done live by a streamer called LinkDeadX2, I think, or something like that. Uh, if I remember to poke a, po what? post a link in the description um, to the Twitch clip thing. But they, they did it, and it basically blasts you up through the rock there, and you can get the get the gold orb. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other ways you can die in this level or beat it. Um, you can use the invisible Yoshi glitch, because like, if I go through a big door with this Yoshi, I'll have a second one. And you basically place the invisible Yoshi... Like, if you, if you place them here, maybe, and then grow the Yoshi, or mount them here, and then mount this one here, and then hop off here, you'll teleport into that room. Um, there's another one that's actually fairly easy. I don't know if I can do it right now. I think I can. Well, I say fairly. It's not easy. Um, well, if you... If you go down here... It's sort of tricky... But if you could just, in one of these cases, oh, I can't do it with the climbing glitch. But if you collect a single coin, like a single bottom coin there, you can use the uh, the duck. Um, like a duck spin jump thing that you can do. Would you, let's just push this a bit and then go down. Bring Joe here, because of course. Uh, and then I can what? Come on, I just you, you just I want to show off the Yoshi. Hold on. There he is. Oh well, there there he is. Uh, but yeah, if I I can go get that other Yoshi as well. Well, any, uh, well, I I've done enough. I've done loads. You get the idea. Visible Yoshi's and there's other glitches and there's there's even other glitches and there's more glitches. That you could use yeah so that's that's my level in its entirety let's beat it one last time yay we have a broken yoshi yeah so there you go shut off my level so i want to i want to say something um reading like say some reviews or some comments about this game and i'm going to get a lot of them about this level this game is not meant to be taken seriously. It's not meant to be. It's just people made levels and submitted them for themselves, you know, like the Jump Half team and a few others, and myself, with the idea of just showing off levels that we made years ago or like make per like if we had really bad ideas and would never implement them, this was our chance to implement them. It wasn't really meant to be played by loads of people. So like it's if you are upset about this game, it means you're an idiot. That's basically what I'm saying. It means you don't understand and you're done and I don't like you. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, people are going to complain about that puzzle level saying, oh, it's not fun and it's too hard to 
work out on this one. It's not supposed to be. It, it, it's supposed to be really dumb. It's supposed to be dumb. You, you're not. I don't want you to enjoy it. I want you to suffer, and I want to watch your video. You know, if you've decided to play this game, it's it, it, fast water, everybody. 